All right, there's the cut. Got a pull line in it. Wind's pushing our kind of our way, leaning heavy against us, leaning out that, that way heavy. Just have to avoid that bush for the most part. Pull line offset to that little cherry down there. Tied to the skid loader. We're ready to go. All right, slowly. Slow. Slow. Oh boy. Woo! Baby, wow. Look at that thing wobbling. Man, those locusts have some flex to them, don't they? Wow. It's gotta be a 35 foot top, maybe 40. Yeah, 35, 30. What do you think? You guys take tops that big? No way would I have taken that if it was leaning out towards the bucket. No chance in the world. But you see how much hinge I left on there? That's where the power of the skid loader comes in. Look at this hinge. Fat boy hinge. High back cut. And you know what? There was the K on the side. I, I, got, I saw that when I made the notch. I should have maybe taken a closer look. Wasn't that visible though. This, this bark was hiding it. There was a pocket of little decay in there. And that's the side we needed to hold against the side lean, but we did have the pull line offset. Anyhow, tops out of this guy. That's the power, that's the beauty of the skid loader, right? I can stand 20 feet away, call for that pull. I know I'm not gonna have to go back there and cut it. We put enough, we put enough pull on that thing, it's gonna go. So that's an exciting top right there. There's a second one right there, there's two. That's one top there. All the way, the tips are all the way out there. You see those tips? That's one top. That's that piece right there. And this guy, right there. Wow. Let me know what you think in the comments.